So now what is that resistance of a diode? So that V upon I that we know yeah so that is a delta V change in voltage upon change in current. So this is how we can determine the value of your resistance. So if we just consider that where we are just going to use that diode. So we are just going to use its application of your forward bias and reverse bias. So what you have to do generally over here. So let's say this is a transformer yeah then there is a diode and then there is a resistance. So that transformer you might have heard so either it is a step up or it is a step down and what is that rectify or rectification that is a conversion from your AC signal to the DC signal yeah so although you will get not a pure DC so but this is called as a pulsating DC yeah. So that is what we will call as a process of rectification in which we are going to use this transistor then this diode and this resistance load resistance through which the current is going to flow. So definitely how we can just do it over here. So let us say for this if I just apply the input over here then it is 0 likewise yeah. So this is the diode. So during the positive half cycle the diode will be forward bias. So if it is a forward bias there is a flow of current and the there is a flow of current through the resistance also yeah. So across the resistance so you will get the same voltage and current shape as it is. So this is nothing but what you can say about the first case. Now in case of second case obviously so for the second case what I am doing I am just applying the voltage which is nothing but the negative yeah. So if you just apply that negative voltage so for that particular case so obviously so this is nothing but that voltage at one terminal anode yeah it has to be greater than that of your cathode to make it as a nothing but forward bias but in the second case it is not happening so this C the voltage at C is greater as compared to A so it is a reverse bias always so it will not there is no flow of current through this diode so that is why it will act as a open circuit yeah so you can just show it by this open terminal under reverse bias condition so the current cannot flow ahead so that is why we have just written over here there is no output. So the same thing all the things I just combine in one cycle so during the positive half cycle diode D1 is forward bias so it will act as a short circuit ideal diode and there is a flow of current but in the negative cycle definitely this anode terminal that positive term obviously this one is negative with respect to this yeah so there is no flow of current yeah so it is nothing but a reverse bias and since it is a reverse bias so there will not be any flow of current yeah so it will act as a open circuit. So this is how so it will get rectify yeah so this is how you will get the pulsating DC and that is what we will call as a half wave rectifier. So only half portion of that wave is getting rectified. So this is called as a half wave rectifier yeah. So now again the next one we are going to say that is a full wave rectifier. So in case of full wave rectifier we are going to use that center tap transformer. So in case of center tap transformer so you can say that so this is positive yeah its polarity is opposite and this is the center tap yeah which is a ground yeah. So during the positive half cycle so during the first cycle positive half cycle this D1 is positive D2 is obviously this D1 is forward bias D2 is reverse bias yeah so the current will flow like this yeah and D1 is forward so you have to just make it as a short and this is how it will occur yeah. So now during the negative half cycle so what will happen obviously again I just so told you that so this is nothing but yeah so this is your again I can say that so this is your negative yeah so this is the center tap and this one will be positive yeah so it is having exactly now the opposite polarity so now again for this case this D2 is nothing but your forward bias so for this case again that D2 will be forward bias so that you have to show yeah so you can see that so D2 is forward bias so once the D2 is forward bias the current will flow in the same direction through this load resistance yeah so the direction of current is not getting changed yeah so you can say 
So, this direction of current will occur in the same direction as that of it yeah fine. So, the same the combined thing which we have represented over here. So, for this complete input AC signal you will get that is your alter that is nothing but your pulsating DC signal yeah. So, during the positive as well as negative half cycle there is a flow of current through this load resistance in the same direction during the positive half cycle D 1 is positive D 2 is negative they are having completely opposite polarity. So, that is why you can say that yeah. So, during the first half cycle this D 2 is reverse bias. So, it is an open circuit yeah with respect to this center tap, but in the next half cycle negative half cycle this one is positive and this is negative yeah. So, this is how we can show over here and that is how it works over here that is your full wave rectifier. Mm -hmm.